what we do, we're trying to simplify the texture but give the luxury and the quality of the hair, but in a natural way, which is the most difficult thing to do. The inspiration ball was very late 70s, but in the, not, not in terms of the makeup, but just the feeling of like Jerry Hall hanging out with Mick Jagger and Lauren Hutton. We love Chloe. The new designer is really exciting. We need Chloe that everybody wants to buy again. It's time. A new designer's first collection for an established house is becoming something of a thankless task, if events of the past few days are any indication. And the polarity of opinion about Hannah McGibbon's first show for Chloe suggests nothing's about to change anytime soon. Welcome to the designer's first show. I think it's uh, never a first show without polarized opinions. I'm very, very surprised because we knew what Chloe stood for under Phoebe Philo and it was this very wearable, feminine prettiness. I thought it would be Phoebe Philo-esque, but for 2009, but it was girlish without the prettiness. I thought that was a really, really smart collection. Young, flirty, girly, and I think it nailed all the things we used to associate with Chloe when Phoebe was there. I think it's our job to find within the collection the things that are going to be relevant for our Chloe customer. She's done a lovely version of the jumpsuit and I think she's really captured the spirit of Chloe and made it modern. It's like these girls, you know, under 40, who sort of travel around and they've got photographers for boyfriends or they work in media and they love these kind of clothes. Copper lame paper bag waist pants. Yes, that made the models look 2,000 feet wide. We went today hoping that with Hannah McGibbon at the helm, Chloe might get back on track. I really do think with these first collections, it's really tough for them to come out and do something with such a legacy like that. I think Hannah really needs to find her way. She does have to reinvent it a bit.